Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Gen Joy Plans. Today I am using this gorgeous Glam Planner Mystery from last year that I did not get my hands on to use last year, so I'm using it this year, but it's the apple picking kit, and I forget which month which month this mystery was, but um, since I bought it off somebody else, I got the Lux version, unless I got it on Glitch, I honestly cannot remember, but I love this colorway, and I have been trying to shop my stash a little Little bit more so I decided to pull in the gold grid underlays from Scrub Prince Co that she did in her advent type thing or whatever that bougie box bundle was last year and I feel like it goes well I kind of was thinking I saw the pie and it made me think of the grid so that's kind of where my train thought went and then for foil, I paired this Rainforest Green color that looks stunning, if I do say so myself, with this kit. And I really like how I was able to layer the bottom washi and make it work because sometimes I struggle with Glam Planner bottom washi with it being the triplicate washi and um, making it work with foil. But I feel like it works really well. Then I had some Rainforest Green Fall overlays from Plan With Me stickers and I think, did I say, I maybe just said it, I feel like I'm totally blanking out the um, bottom washi is also playing with me stickers and then I picked up apple quotes in matte bronze which hindsight should have got gold because I was doing gold underlays I wasn't really thinking but it flows and I feel like the matte bronze just is so matte bronze works with everything. I honestly feel like it could go, if you had a silver spread, like it wouldn't stick out too much. If you have a gold spread, it doesn't stick out too much. If you have fun foil, like it is a great neutral because it's just, it's, I don't know what the word is. Soothing is not the right word, but like it just flows. It just flows. So, um, it flowed with this kit and so yeah, I pulled in those quote boxes. Erica said that she watched my plant or one of my kit lineups and she was like, oh, we need Apple overlay boxes with to match that kit. And I was very thankful because I just think she obviously does a great job and super cute. So it was it's always fun to have kind of two foil colors for overlays as well, in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, love how it turned out. And they, I had to use, well, this worked super well because I went to San Diego this weekend, um, or this weekend that you're seeing me plan, um, to visit my best friend. She recently had a baby four weeks ago and I'm the godmother of her firstborn who is now mm, almost two. And so I just really wanted to see her. I haven't seen her in a couple months and um, she recently moved and I wanted to see the baby and just help her and hold the baby since it's not her firstborn. Like she was a lot more willing to have guests early on and I was very conscious to be like this, this is because like this is probably too early for you. You can totally say no. And she's like, no, please. Like I need the help. And so it was nice. Um, obviously she has a great husband, but it was nice to just be able to like help them out, do their dishes and cook for them. Um, be like the best friend. And I got to stay up and take a shift with the baby to let my friend sleep. And that just felt like the greatest honor to be able to do that for her. Um, and it was fun because we just got to like hang out on the couch and watch like shows and then um I was like right after her late feeding I was like why don't I just take a shift so you can go sleep and um again since it was her second born she was totally fine with that so I just got snuggles and that was a great win for me um her baby is super snuggly so it was adorable and I just feel like I left with my cup so full it was such a whirlwind of a weekend like I left Friday morning and came back Sunday night at midnight so it was super duper quick but um it was good. It was the perfect amount of time because with two kids, you really just can't do much, especially with four week old. Like this weekend was really big because we did a couple different outings, which were huge for my friend because again, postpartum and just getting used to life with two. So I was thankful that I could help out in any way possible. I did pull in these little family boxes. I thought I was going to bring them in more, but this 
Um, cause I originally was going to use the other glam planner mystery that it was, I think called like it girl and it had the browns and the beiges. That's what I originally had slotted, but then I was like, I really want a true fall kit and I want more boxes for extenders. So I looked at my collection and saw that this kit was um, a luxe kit. So I had so many options. So I was like, okay, perfect. Love this. So I did. I used this and I used all the extenders. So I used an extender for Thursday because I knew it would be crazy prepping school and pre like prepping house stuff to leave for the weekend. And then I put a box on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, which worked because I was able to use both scenes because I love them both so much. So you're seeing now that little baby box, um, which mm, so cute. So yeah, I have, I will have a quote box that I will show at the end when I show the finished spread that I got from Alicia Craft that has um like her baby's name is Sophie, so it says like Sophie 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 on there and in matte bronze as well to just customize that. Um yeah, so I'm trying to think of everything else. I just filmed a voiceover, so I feel like I'm repeating myself, but those are two completely different videos. So let's go back to, and I'm saying so, 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 so much. I, oh, I apologize. Now you're only going to notice that. <laughs> Yikes. And now I'm only going to notice that. Okay, let's regroup here. This week was a busy week because I was taking Friday off, and that is great. I loved it and needed it, but... If you're a teacher, you know, prepping for a sub is two times the amount of work than it is to show up to school. It is so, so much work. <laughs> I know I was said I wasn't going to say so, but it is exhausting. So I had to prep a lot and not only my sub plans, but I had to be ready for the following week with all my copies, with all my homework. I give homework out on Mondays. I send out my newsletters on Mondays. So it was like making sure all of that was buttoned up and done. Um, this week I really just relaxed in the evenings. I think that was part of the problem of, um, when you watch my spooky island playing with me, you will hear that I was at work from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. I was so stressed and I think it's because this week, which is the week prior, I was leaving work right on time, doing my errands and doing the things that I needed to do, and then coming home and watching YouTube. I started Indian matchmaking, planning, and I was just living my best life. And it was great. But then that like balance kicked me because I was leaving a lot and a lot at work was getting stacked up. So the combination was just, it was a bit much. So I'm hopefully, hopefully going to get back on better grounding, um, better balance. We also had a lockdown at our school on Wednesday. It was not a planned one. There was something in one of the neighborhoods and it was happening right as school was about to start. So the kids, well, before school started. So the parents got a alert to not come to school and not drop their kids off yet however buses were already in route because we bus from a, like all over so we um had to have kids come and they don't want the kids to just sit on the buses that's a very vulnerable place to be so they like really our bus and is really close to one of the buildings so they escorted the kids right into the buildings it was totally fine it was not a like high risk situation and we had um police all over to like watch but just wanted they they wanted the school to stay safe so they didn't want any more kids on campus or any more people on campus so yeah it was kind of chaotic our building was the building to accept all the bus kids and my room is really close to the door so I got 30 random kids in my room for an hour and a half and then they said lockdown was over and all the other kids the ones who lived close by or just kind of went to places nearby came to school pretty much immediately and we, I didn't even have time to go to the bathroom it was really chaotic and it was hard to just you know stay calm and stay informed and stay alert with these group of kids that you didn't like I didn't know and they were ages you know kindergarten all the way through fifth grade and they were feeling lots of emotions because 
the bus driver delivered the news to them in the worst way and it totally freaked them out. I am a firm believer in communicating to children, but I believe that there's a way to do it in a way to do it like in an age appropriate way that does not freak them out. So it was, it was a lot. Like I said, the lockdown itself and the situation was not a severe situation. It was nothing to be concerned about, but, um, they just freaked the kids out. And so it was a lot of emotions. It was really heavy heart for these little kids and their emotions. So yeah, I felt really heavy that day. Um, definitely came home and like talked to my mom. We ended up getting a pedicure after school to like debrief and, um, just like hang out and relax. And then I came home and planned. Um, so that was pretty much my week when I went down and visited my friend in San Diego with, um, like I said, with two kids, we weren't able to do too much, but we did get to go to this really delicious donut place and they had gluten-free donuts So I was basically in heaven because those are unheard of. And this donut shop was so cool. They have them all over. I should pop the name if I think about it. I'll pop the name down below in the um, description box because you might have heard of this type, this place. And they have just a bunch of different toppings on their donuts. So that's how they're able to make it gluten free. If you see in the cases out on the front, they have, you know, make maple bacon, animal circus animal cookie I don't even know gluten type of toppings but all these different flavors that were super unique and then if you ask for the gluten-free they just had a section in the back like a topping bar and topped it with gluten-free donuts that was like I don't know why more places are doing this (laughs) but the fact that they offer gluten-free was great and my friend is gluten-free too which makes visiting her so seamless and amazing um, because I don't barely even have to bring snacks. Like I can just show up and I know that I could wear her clothes and I can use all of her stuff and I can eat the same foods as her. So that's why also it made this weekend very casual and easy. And that was really cool. And it was fun to, you know, take the little boy who's two out to get donuts. It's just like the cute little kid novelty thing. And then where they live in San Diego, there's lots of beaches nearby. So went to the beach. Um, We didn't really like bring bathing suits and play in the sand, but we just hung out at the playground at the beach, which was fun and just enjoyed the nice weather. It was so warm there and it was raining back at home and I was like, (laughs) bye. I thrive off of the sun. So I was living my best life and I'm like, maybe we should move to San Diego. I literally came home and told my husband like, okay, so what do you think about San Diego? (laughs) I will just chase the sun wherever I can get it. But long story long, that was my week. I am going to do a quick little apple, this or that, in theme with the apple um, apple kit. So you'll have to let me know your responses down below. So let's get into it. The first one is apple juice or apple cider, like warm apple cider. And I'm going to go with warm apple cider. If you've ever tried um, caramel apple cider from Starbucks, is I know that's like on their menu but you can totally like DIY it at home or at other places and that is super good as well if you are a fellow caramel lover um and the next one is apple pie or apple crisp honestly they're the like they're both super good but I do feel like apple crisp I think ranks just a tad bit higher for me but maybe that's because my family doesn't make a ton of pies actually that's a lie my uncle makes a ton of pies I'm just gluten-free so I don't get a ton of pies (laughs) that's really what it comes down to but apple is my like preferred flavor of any kind of dessert so honestly I'd go with anything anything apple okay the next question is caramel apples or candy apples which I can honestly say I've never had a candy apple um I used to think they were the same thing but I know that they're not so I'd rather do a caramel apple however I like chipped my two front teeth when I was really little um like when they first came in as grown-up teeth so I can't eat anything hard on my front teeth like I can't bite into an apple or carrots 
Um, I have to have it sliced. So I don't do caramel apples very often because if I do, I have to like go home to slice it or ask them to slice it. And that's, you know, a little embarrassing. Um, but yeah, fun fact, <laughs> I have like my teeth, they're just like filled in. So they're just more fragile. Um, all right. Then the next question is apple sauce or apple apple chips sorry i paused because sadie's playing with her toy but i just like can't fight it this morning anyways um and i honestly like both of them apple chips are super good they're kind of expensive so i would love to learn how to like make them myself um but applesauce is good too we like always have the applesauce squeezers in our house my husband eats one like every single day um so yeah fun fact we we do love them in our household all right and the last question is apple donut or what is it apple strudel i honestly don't know either i don't think i've tasted either of them because again gluten so i have no preference i don't even know what an apple strudel is is that like what mcdonald's sells so um, I don't know. You'll have to let me know down below which one is better in, in the gluten world. But I don't have too much to pre-plan. I just pre-planned school and then me flying out to San Diego. Um, I used the little fly to and fly home sampler from McPlans along with the McPlans plane. My school scripts and all my scripts are from McPlans. And then the little backpack doodles are from Carly. And then I had pre-planned a pedicure with my mom this week. So I am using a little um, pig to mark that i believe it's coming yep there we go um that dark green color was actually super fun to match and it matched a lot of the mcplans like fall colorway that fall colorway went with so many spreads this fall it was amazing it was so perfect so she nailed it with that colors color combo but i'm super happy how the pre-planning turned out here it is in all its glory so many extenders to hold down and let's right, get to the end is my finished spread i've already put it back in but here's kind of the foil i really love these grid underlays um i feel like they're the perfect size so they like peek through everything and my like linear brain kind of loves them so i really 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 love how this spread turned out this rainforest green rainforest green is like a perfect match but i do feel like matte bronze would be perfect like i love the matte bronze overlays that i have and then all of my extenders i love this one of the little baby and then with my custom quote from alicia craft for my best friend baby her name is sophie it's so cute and yeah i just used all the extenders possible to just mark all the things it was really fun to see my best friend this weekend and to hang out with her kids her baby was only three no four weeks old so just like so fresh lots of snuggles and um lots of playing with her one and a half year old and um just you know like lots of bestie time and living at the speed of a one and a half and a newborn um but it was super great and yeah i just love it all i think i talked about this over in my voiceover but that was weeks ago this is october 9th through the 15th so this is like way way behind i just procrastinated laying down this half i've had this half done forever i just have procrastinated laying down these stickers for the longest time for no particular reason at all but thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i will catch you in my next video bye everyone